Let us look at example one. Say we want to determine the voltage measured by the voltmeter. In our circuit below, we have an eight volt source supplying a potential to a 75 and 25 ohm resistor that exists in a series configuration. Our voltmeter has a red terminal at the top of our 25 ohm resistor and a black terminal at the bottom. Thus, our voltage potential goes from a positive to negative as we progress from the top to bottom, where we designate V sub M or V sub 25 as our voltage potential across a 25 ohm resistor. Using the principle of voltage division, we can calculate the voltage drop across our 25 ohm resistor. It is equal to the resistance of our resistor of interest, 25 ohms, over the sum of the resistances in series, 25 plus 75 ohms, times our source voltage. Thus, V sub M, the voltage drop across our 25 ohm resistor measured by our meter is equal to two volts. We can verify this using Ohm's law. Recalling for a circuit connected in a series configuration that our current I is the same value flowing throughout. Thus, we can express Ohm's law in terms of our current, which is equal to source voltage per our series resistance, where our source voltage is equal to eight volts and our series resistance is 75 plus 25 ohms or 100 ohms. Thus, our current flowing through the circuit would be equal to eight volts per 100 ohms which is equal to 0.08 amps. Now, if we use Ohm's law once again to determine the voltage drop across a resistor, V sub M would be equal to I times our resistance or 0.08 amps times 25 ohms, which gives us two volts. 